हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अवर चैनल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पालो अल्टो फायर वॉल लेब सेटअप ओके इन ये लास्ट सेशन वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक थिंग्स इट हाउ कैन क्रिएट द जोन एंड एवरी थिंग्स बट दैट इज एज अ जस्ट अ बेसिक प्रैक्टिस नाउ इफ यू एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू डू प्रैक्टिकल फॉर द रियल सीनारियो और लेट से वी हैव सम इंटरनल जोन और वी हैव सम प्राइवेट नेटवर्क वी हैव सम एक्सटर्नल इंटरनेट पब्लिक जोन so for that we require a proper topology okay so today in this video we are going to see that how we can set up the topology and what kind of network we are going to use and how that topology we are attaching with the real scenario so i am nikan goel the trainer and instructor for the network security and cyber security so let's see the video here you can see in my screen i set up the basic things what we done in the last video like one cloud which is going to connect with our physical machine so we can access that and one firewall which we done the basic practice while we create the one zone so here what we'll do we are going to attach a three different switch so you can search for ios switch and number of switch three okay by default this is the name if you want to change you can and icon also optional thing i like normal regular switch icon so just save okay so you can see here guys by default the name is switch 2 3 4 because one day has already taken so it is counting that way if you want to change the host name you can right now let's say switch number 2 i will keep for the internet side switch number 3 here i will keep as a dmz public server side and this switch 4 which i will change the name and will make it switch 1 as our topology sequence so you can see here switch 1 for our lan zone if you remember in the last session we decided this network range for our lan zone so that i will connect here this switch for our dmz zone okay for that let's say we are going to take a network let's say dmz zone and network ip is we are going to use 172.16.99 series okay why 99 series mostly i see that in a real scenario also people using server with the 99 number okay so i just try to connect with the real scenario If you have idea a little bit, so let's say whenever we are taking the IP address, okay, from the DHCP, our mobile or router, then you will find that your device have IP from the hundred, hundred or one zero one. So the one to ninety nine IP specially for this kind of other network device like firewall, switch, router, server, okay. So that's why here I'm taking the ninety nine series, and then save. So this is our DMZ zone, and let's say for public. Actually, we don't have option to select the network because ISP will give us, but it is our topology. So here, temporary, I will use the IP that is let's say one fifty series. Okay, and also one more thing, guys. As a real scenario, you will not find slash twenty four. You will find around slash twenty eight or slash twenty nine. That kind of subnet mask and network bit, so that the limited. PC or IP in the one network so that ISP can manage different different client. But here just for easy practice, okay, I don't want that you will confuse in the subnetting, so I keep it simple slash twenty four. So this is this will be for our WAN zone. So these three network we are going to use in our topology. So we take an already three switch. Now this is for what just connection guys. Okay, this is just for connection. As a normal practice, generally I can connect the PC also directly with firewall for the LAN practice, and here directly router with the firewall as ISP, and here directly server. But I'm taking a switch as a real scenario so that we can actually connect multiple device. Okay, we can connect here multiple server, and maybe we have multiple ISP. Otherwise, this switch is depend on your actually network company topology. So let me connect this. So I try to keep the same kind of interface. So one less one, one less one. Then second number interface from firewall, I will connect with the switch two. One less two, one less two, and one less three will our DMZ side interface. So see guys, our three side interface from the Palo Alto firewall is ready. Now what? This is as I told you, just for multiple connections. Otherwise, actually, communication we require with the PC and server. So here again, right click. I will add the some more node, and you can see here I am searching Windows. 
Windows PC and Windows 10. So by default one PC again okay if you want more computer you can take so step by step we'll do as a basic or you can say as a beginner okay we are going to use one IP as a target in the policy and then step by step we'll make a VLAN also we'll add a multiple network also and we'll try to make a proper real scenario so here then CPU okay if it is Windows and graphical then I will say at least you can use two CPU okay RAM it is your choice this again by default one also you can keep but it's depend on your physical PC capacity and then save so one Windows PC that I'm going to connect with this switch keep it zero zero now as a normal networking I hope you have idea like here will not find zero slash zero kind of thing it's a PC only one network okay and then this side I will take a one server now guys, understand guys here if you want to configure actually server then as a real scenario you will find maybe it is a Windows server maybe it is a Linux server and according that again that capacity is different normal basic server then again 4 GB 8 GB RAM is okay but actually server if I talk where there is a website and lots of data then there are lots of RAM required okay so here for practice again if I want to add normal graphical server then at least 4 GB or 8 GB RAM we suggest and suppose if your device don't have that much capacity that multiple device with multiple GB RAM then I will suggest temporary you can take a router and in the router you can start the web service so that router act as a web server and that I will do here so whoever the watching the video they all are able to do practical not require lots of RAM so right click node I will take here two router one router is for actually want to make a server and second router for as a ISP one side okay so here and here and if you want to change the name you can so this I will use let's say ISP or for net let's keep it ISP and this is our DMG server so I'm giving the name DMG server or only server that also your choice okay so this router I will treat as a server so let me connect this so here I will keep it simple 00, zero. All end device I connected with 00, zero, so easy to remember interface and according firewall side 123. So this is our topology ready. Now what I am going to do here, this thing I will configure as a LAN zone, this thing I will configure as a WAN zone and this thing I will configure as a DMZ zone. And later we can create the policy that what traffic can allow from LAN to DMZ, what traffic can allow from LAN to public when zone okay and what traffic from the public can able to access from DMZ so multiple thing as a real scenario we are going to discuss guys so here in this video we do the setup of lab for the Palo Alto firewall practical stay tuned for the next video where we are going to see the practical of this configuration and if you like this guidance then give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel this is Nikon Goyal signing off